drop the Donald face if it would cause Donald Trump to lose your vote. All right? Would you support Donald Trump if he made fun of a disabled reporter? Still voting for him. Made fun of all Chinese people. Everybody still cool with that? Okay. Just trying to find that line. Just looking for that line. Would you support Donald Trump if he said there should be a registry for all Muslims? National Registry of Jews. I still see two Trumps in the air. Okay. Just because it's good to know where the Jews are? You're in it to win it. Those are people that are willing to vote for Donald Trump even if it means potentially recreating the Holocaust. And this is Progressive Matters. Welcome back to the show where we give you the information to have conversations that matter. Today we are going to take a look at Donald Trump's potential 2024 campaign run and who could possibly still be voting for him. Because despite the fact that Orange Jim Jones is facing 91 felonies, four indictments, and countless other court cases pertaining to his shady business dealings, it seems that is not enough to dissuade his most ardent cult supporters. As we enter the 2024 election campaign cycle, I feel like it's important to take a look back at what got these people hooked on Trumpadone in the first place. So just just like any good coach, we are going to be taking a look back at previous game footage to give us an idea of what's to come. So let's take a look at Jordan Klepper, who got together a group of Trump supporters back in 2015 to pick what was left of their brains to see why they would support Donald Trump. He has no filters. That's a, that's a good thing, right? Just we're on the same page? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a president in there that really walks on eggshells and not wanting to hurt this community or that community? Yes. Did he say every single person that comes across our borders are criminals, rapists, and drug dealers? I believe what he said, a majority of them. And you know what? They're not disputing that. Nobody's disputing the figures. Look at the people that are coming across the border illegally. Are, are the vast majority reputable people that want to give to the community? Yeah. I, I, I'm saying a vast majority of them that are caught by the border guards smuggling drugs and, and raping women and everything else, unfortunately, a vast majority of them are overshadowing the good ones. In that statement, you had like four vast majorities. Vast majority. I mean, do, do actual statistics matter to you guys? I think no, the statistics are there. I think the vast majority of your statistics are bull****. Do you? Yes. Okay, that could very well be. The facts over feeling crowd sure doesn't seem very interested in facts. For instance, statistics published in Texas right around this time in 2018 showed the illegal immigrant criminal conviction rate was 782 per 100,000 illegal immigrants and 1,422 per 100,000 native-born Americans. The illegal immigrant criminal conviction rate was 45% below that of native-born Americans in Texas, resulting in native-born Americans having the highest criminal conviction rates followed by illegal immigrants and then legal immigrants. And this was true across all crimes, such as violent crimes, property crimes, homicide, and sex crimes. When patterns throughout the United States are analyzed, we see that not only are illegal immigrants not the problem, but instead that it is native-born Americans committing the most crimes the most often. In fact, this study went on to suggest that a 10% increase in the illegal immigrants' share of the population is associated with a 1% decline in violent crime convictions. So let's not forget the vast majority of immigrants crossing the border legally or illegally are people who just want a better way of life. But that's not what the media and people like Donald Trump want you to see. They want you to see violence and hate because without it, you don't need them. Trump came out and said he wants to ban all Muslims from coming to this country. He's not singling out this group because of their religious <laughs> beliefs. But he is choosing their religion as the one identifier to keep them out. Maybe he's not as articulate as we would like. He says a lot of things that we probably are thinking or want to say. Have you, have, have you ever said, I think we should stop all members of one religion from entering into our country? No, but it's just you got to start somewhere. Okay. I think what everyone's overlooking, though, is that Trump has brought this to the forefront. Maybe it was crude. Maybe a lot of us don't agree with that position. But what he has done is he's, everyone's talking about it. I mean, I could walk into my friend's apartment, take a on his rug, and now everybody's talking about whether they should get a new rug. That doesn't make me the good guy. 
Negative attention sometimes is a good thing. It's better than no attention at all. These people may have never said these things, but they have damn sure thought them. And it has only gotten worse since this video. In 2023, statistics were released showing an uptick of over 5% in hate crimes. Jews, African Americans, gay men, and especially transgenders who saw an increase of over 40% all saw increases of acts of hatred and violence, highlighting the ongoing issues of hate crimes affecting our society nationwide. And though everyone seems to be talking about it, the real concern is how certain people, like Trump and his followers, are talking about it. First, we will cut federal funding for any school or program pushing critical race theory, gender ideology, or other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content, the left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children, child abuse, chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth, I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. Homosexual behavior is something you do. It's not something that you are. Many historians, they, those who are objective, would look back and, and, uh, and recognize and, and um, give some credit to the fall of Rome to not only the, the, the deprivation of the society and the, the loss of morals, but also to uh, the rampant you know, homosexual behavior uh, that was uh, condoned by the society. You support pride propaganda? Stop. Whoa, I'm buying, buying this. this. I need you to, you're, Whoa, let you go, you're man. You're not buying it. I'm going to buy it and burn it. You're, you guys are satanic. True. See, open satanic. That, open sa satanist, guys. That's what we're up against. This open satanist. Like her. Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you replacing your jobs and replacing your kids in school and coming from all over the world they're also replacing your culture i don't know why you hate us why do you hate us because we're mexicans we're honest people right here rapists how many people have i raped how many people how many drugs have i dealt trump and the maga movement continue to blur the lines between their bigotry and reality Oftentimes, it's difficult to even decipher what statements people like Trump have made and which are completely made up. Because encouraging someone like Trump to speak his mind has led to hyperbolic bullshit, the likes of which could not previously be conceived. I want to play a little game called Who Said It? Donald Trump or Racist Sandwich? <laughs> Hi, I smell like roast beef and I think Mexicans are here to rape people and commit crimes. I'm going with sandwich, sandwich. on that one. Sandwich. sandwich. Racist sandwich. You are right. Okay, another one. Tell me who said this, Donald Trump or a racist sandwich. I have a great relationship with the blacks. I've always had a great relationship with the blacks. Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Donald Trump. You seem like you're holding out. Me? Yeah. Uh, I'd say Trump, too. I was thinking about that for a second. Yeah. This is the guy that you guys are going to vote for, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's two things I hate, banana peppers and Muslims. Racist sandwich. You're thinking on that one. Well, I did think about it, but yeah. I mean, you're actually thinking about it? It's difficult to tell the difference between what a racist sandwich would say and your presidential candidate? It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. If you cannot tell the difference between the things your political candidate has said and the things a racist sandwich may say, well, in the immortal words of Jeff Foxworthy, Here's your sign. People like Trump have been enabling bigots and closet racists for the last eight years to wear their opinions on their sleeves. But I think it's about time to help them hang up the old proud boy uniforms and help them to remember that this is an America that accepts people of every race, gender, and color. This is an America that will embrace progress and will accept people for the choices that allow them to live happy lives without fear. This is an America that you can be trans, you can be non-binary, you can love the person you choose to love. This is an America where you can worship whatever God you choose to, as long as you do not encroach on the rights of those around you. This is an America that will no longer accept the restrictions these people are attempting to force on other people's lives because they fear progress and they fear change. This is an America that will not vote for the likes of Donald Trump because these people don't even know why they should. For some reason, Trump, the more bizarre he gets, 
the more people like them. But why? Yeah, you're one of those people. I'm one why? of those people. Why? Thank you for joining me for this episode of Progressive Matters. And remember, get educated and get out and vote. <laughs> <laughs>